All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from KHUX Nation. And in today's video, I'm doing this a little bit ahead of schedule just because of the fact that uh, starting tomorrow, I am going to be traveling for about a week, more or less. Uh, so I won't be able to actually make this video when the medal officially comes out in the global version of the game. So I'm making it ahead of time now. Uh, just to kind of help, you know, get it out there and such. Okay, so that way I'm not late on it when, uh, by the time I get back. So I'm hoping I don't get any sort of translation errors when I'm doing this. That's typically why I, t I, I started tending to wait till the official versions of medals come out in the global version of the game before I start uh, making videos on them. That way I know for sure what the translations translations are and stuff. But because of the fact that the translations for this metal seem to be fairly simple, it, I, I don't. I think I'll be fine. Okay, so without further ado, uh, let's get started with the video. Now, first of all, just like usual, let's go over what the metal does as, as well as uh, what the banner is like as well. So starting off with the banner, we have our free-to-play banner and our VIP banner. Now. Finally, they're coming back to, or at least for this medal, they're doing kind of what like is kind of expected, where they'll have the free-to-play mercy pool, where it's a 10-pull mercy, and then there's the VIP mercy pool, which is a 5-pull mercy, okay, as well as the extra oddities such as like uh, times three gems and times three VIP coins, whereas the free-to-play banner only gives you one speed uh, gem instead, so. Those are just extras. What, what really matters is the fact that the free-to-play is a 10 mercy pool and the VIP is a 5 mercy pool. They seem to be kind of going back and forth between uh, these different types of iterations where it's like uh, both banners are, you know, 10 mercy pool, but the free-to-play is, a, you know, one of those random set of three type of mercy pools and then they'll do this version as well where it's like 10 mercy and then five mercy for VIP. Personally, I just prefer this. No one, want, no one wants to have to deal with the randomized aspect of the free to play mercy pools. Uh, this one is just more along the lines of what I would prefer. So regardless of whether or not I'm free to play or VIP, this is just better for everybody. So that's just my preference though. Uh, in terms of the actual metal itself though so this is what the metal looks like it's basically a big throwback to the pixel version of uh kingdom hearts chain of memories from like on the game boy for example you know the old school consoles that the that the chain of memories originally came out on so that's uh it's kind of cool. We haven't had one of these in quite forever, basically ever since the previous FFRK collaboration that we had in the past. I think maybe that was what, like two years ago or something? One or two years ago? It's been it's been a hot minute, so it's cool to see this again. Uh, in terms of what the metal itself does though, all right. This is Supernova Plus Plus Chain of Memories Sora, okay? This is the first metal that iterates the plus plus feature, which I'll get into a second as to what what does that mean. Uh, in terms of the actual ability though, he is an AOE metal. Uh, and for one turn, he increases the upright metal strength by 1500. Uh, he is a speed upright metal, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Okay, he buffs your upright general attack and speed attack or strength i should say your uh, upright general strength and speed strength by 10 tiers he lowers the general defense speed defense of the enemy by 10 tiers uh, uh, increases 200 percent guilt buff does more damage the higher your hp and does 13 hits he consumes two gauges uh, is a tier 10 metal, has a damage multiplier of a 67.03 to an 80.64 uh, the Supernova has a multiplier of a 220, as well as introduces a new mechanic in the game, uh, which I'll also kind of further elaborate in a second. All right. Now, the mechanical, the mechanic, according to this, you know, the Google Translate <laughs> translation is called Weak Point Special Effect. Don't know what's actually going to be called in the global version of the game, uh, but 
for the rest of it, for one turn, increases metal. I mean, cut increases upright metal strength by 4,500, as well as buffs your upright uh, strength, your general strength, and all attacks. I don't know, PSM strength, I guess, by 10 tiers. It lowers the enemy's upright defense and general defense by 10 tiers, increases your guilt by 280%, does not affect counters, activates before the second slot in PvP. Now, in terms of the whole weak point special effect, the new mechanic essentially, as well as what does the S, uh, Supernova Plus Plus entail compared to our regular Supernova Plus metal, uh, this is what it's uh, mentioned. Essentially, it's the, the Plus Plus aspect of it is not that big of a deal, just because the fact it means that uh, Supernova Plus Plus metals have an upper limit of plus 5,000 uh, chips and dales. Okay, so a normal supernova plus metal, just one plus, has a limit of 3,000 attack and defense from chips and dales, whereas a plus plus metal can go up to 5,000. So it's only an extra 2,000 chips and dales. It's not that big of a difference, really. Um, I'm kind of confused why they, if they're going to go through that hassle of increasing that limit, like, why not, why not make it more substantial? I feel like 2,000 isn't really that big of a difference. That makes me go, oh, snap, I really need this metal now because of 2,000 extra strength. Like, nah, fam. <laughs> it's not that much. Uh, what is interesting, though, is the new mechanic. So, the new mechanic, which was called Weak Point Special Effect, according to the translator, essentially what it is, and I'm kind of using my, uh, you know, investigative skills here, my, infer my inferring skills to help understand this a little bit. But according to the translation, it says the Super Burst Weakness Slayer has the effect of speed attribute, the case of Supernova Plus uh, Plus, uh, Chain of Memory Sora, the enemy of the magic attribute to the immense damage can give. It's kind of broken English. Essentially, what I'm assuming from what this is saying is that basically, you know how typically when you bring metals into a quest and there's the whole uh, uh, super effective, it's weakness, you know, weaknesses type of aspect to the game where uh, power is super effective against speed, speed is super effective against magic, magic is super effective against power. You know, the holy trinity. Essentially, for what I can grasp about this, is that it's introducing a new mechanic into the game where whenever that metal fights against the attribute that it's super effective against, essentially, instead of doing the normal amount of damage that you would uh, when you're doing su when you're super effective against it it will do an increased amount of damage like more than normal against the the attribute that you're strong against okay so uh, just to kind of give into perspective for any of you who might be struggling with what the heck that meant let's say let's say uh like Sora right here is a speed upright metal. Let's say if I'm fighting another speed enemy, I might do five damage, okay? However, in a normal case, okay, uh, let's say I'm fighting a magic attribute, Sora might do 10 damage because he's super effective against magic, okay? What this new ability or new mechanic, from what I understand, is doing is the fact that instead of doing 10 damage against a super effective attribute, it might do 20 damage, right? That's, that's or 15, okay? It's just doing more than the normal amount of super effective damage is what I'm trying to say. So that's what I believe I understand this is trying to say. I've heard some rumors on Discord that it's just super effective against everything kind of like with final form Sora but that doesn't sound right at all whatsoever especially given how the translation is saying so uh, from what I assume about the translation basically it does even more damage than it normally would against uh, the magic magic attribute which is what it's super effective against okay so that is the new mechanic we point special effect according to translation I don't know what's gonna be called in global now in terms of how good 
is this actual metal itself, okay? All in all, the best way to understand Ch uh, Supernova++ Plus Plus Chain of Memory Sora is the fact that it's basically straight up replacing the Supernova Plus Gula medal that we just received like what last month or something like that like a month or two ago uh, it's basically straight up replacing it at this point because of the fact that it provides the 4500 metal strength buff just like Gula does with his Supernova except this time it uh, Sora is actually better than Gula because of the fact that Sora affects upright metals in general instead of just speed like Gula does so it's straight up replacing Gula in that aspect as well as also provides for its normal ability uh, upright metal strength as well 1500 again better than the Gula because of the fact that it affects all upright metals instead of just speed so again better even in terms of its multiplier because of the fact that it does more damage the higher your HP so basically, it's going to be max. You'll just always do max damage. Uh, and it's ma uh, max multiplier. The highest end of the multiplier is at 80.64. Sora, or Supernova++ Plus Plus Chain of Memory Sora, is technically now the strongest metal in the game. Not only in terms of multiplier, but also in terms of strength. Because of the plus 2,000 chips and dales. Again, like I iterated though, I don't believe like i i don't see the plus 2000 the extra 2000 chips and dales to really be that significant it's not that big of a deal it'll help only a little bit um and the reason why i'm saying that is because of the fact the only way to actually uh see any significant difference in damage these days in terms of metals uh is the fact and if they're going to be increasing raw strength of a metal, it needs to be significant enough to actually uh, deal in the damage. And typically, uh, the rough amount of metal strength they need to be significant is anywhere from like seven plus uh, seven thousand to ten thousand strength. Like you need at least that much to actually make a significant difference. Uh, in damage for a metal okay so that that's kind of the whole reason why the uh, fairy evolutions the meow wow evolutions and even the whole new uh, metal strength mechanic is uh, was so important because the fact you can actually reach those levels of increasing your metal strength uh, with the meow wows and the fairies you got about plus 7,000 strength and defense each evolution with those. Those were a significant amount of uh, strength increases, okay? Same way with the whole uh, increase in metal strength mechanic, okay? Uh, because of the fact that it's by 1,500, if I can cast uh, this type of effect at least five times throughout my setup, that alone is already equivalent to an entire Meow Wow evolution or an entire fairy, uh, blue fairy evolution. All right, that's not counting the fact that if you have extra, if you have an entire setup full of this type of effect with extra attack across the whole board, you could easily have around maybe like fifteen to twenty thousand uh, extra strength without any supernovas taken into account. Where you might even have a, anywhere up to like 30,000 extra strength, metal strength, okay? That is significantly higher than just a, a minor plus 2,000 strength in defense. <laughs> so that's kind of why I'm saying that the plus 2,000, uh, the extra 2,000, I should probably say extra, the extra 2,000 chips and dales that the Supernova plus plus aspect uh, it's providing is taken into account isn't really that big of a deal. Uh, take into consideration everything else that we kind of already have so that's why I'm saying like if, if they're gonna be going that route in terms of like increasing the chips and dales it needs to be a huge amount like easily plus 10,000 to make it even somewhat relevant but uh the weak point in terms of the actual uh, new mechanic though because the fact it's only tied to the supernova again i also believe it's not that big of a deal uh the whole upright uh metal strength plus 4500 that's honestly way more relevant right now 
in terms of Chain of Memory Sword than the actual uh, weak point uh, mechanic. The only time, like, in order for the weak point mechanic to actually be useful, in my opinion, it has to be tied to the normal uh, ability of the metal itself, okay? It has to be part of the actual normal uh, ability. So that way you can actually it actually gets applied every single time you use the metal rather than only being tied to the supernova which can only be used once. So that's my aspect aspect about it. Uh, the weak point, although it's a it seems like a really cool and good new mechanic introduced in the game, uh, it's really not getting that much use on Chandler Memory Sora himself. But at the very least, the plus 4500 strength is going to be the most relevant aspect of Sora uh, in terms of his supernova, okay? Uh, and just to reiterate, he literally is basically just re straight up replacing at this point uh, supernova plus Gula that we just got like a month or two ago, so... That is Chain of Memories and Sora in a nutshell. Now in terms of whether or not you should pull, alright? I do believe this uh, it kind of, this is just going to be one of those situations where the banner is is pretty decent because of the fact that it is finally back to the 10 mercy pull or 5 mercy pull if you have VIP. If you have VIP, like this is a very this could very easily potentially be a very easy medal for you to get. Um and if you're free to play, uh, it's a little bit of a more difficult decision for you, of course, just because it's twice as much jewels you have to dump. You have to dump 30,000 compared to 15,000. Um, in general, though, for all of you watching, regardless of whether or not you're free to play or VIP, uh, this is strictly going to be a case where it just depends on what medals you have and what medals you need, okay? If you're in dire need of better speed medals, uh, maybe specifically speed upright, then yeah, you should probably look at trying to get Chain of Memory Sora. Uh, but if you already have a good substantial amount of speed medals, uh, like I do for instance, that you don't really need to get another one anytime soon, um, then you could probably be okay with skipping this. Uh, the metal itself is honestly is already really good. It's one of the best damage medals in the game already, as well as one of the best uh, metal strength buffer medals in the game too. Um, so it that that's why I'm saying that it really depends on what you have. Because if you're already decked out on really strong OP medals, uh, you already have like an OP setup, then you don't really need to go chasing after another one because you already have enough to last you for a while. Whereas maybe if you're struggling behind, maybe if you're free to play and you haven't really gotten a medal in a while, this could definitely be a medal that you might be able to potentially consider sinking your jewels into. So it just depends. Personally, what I would prefer is that if you are if you are a VIP player though, and you have the 30,000 jewels, try and get uh, Namine first. Let me go ahead and pull up Nominee. Try and get Nominee first before anything else, just because of the fact that Nominee is going to be way more important to have in the future compared to Sora. Uh, although, if you do already have Nominee, whether by luck or you did Mercy here, either way, again, this is just for VIP players, what I'm saying this for. Uh, if you already have Nominee and you're still lacking on speed medals, then sure, you can go ahead on Sora. But if you don't have Nominee, I would highly recommend getting Nominee first. So that is my uh, advice for the VIP players. For free-to-play players, you're kind of put in a rough spot where I don't really recommend pulling for the Nominee banner just because of the fact that it's kind of bullshit. The fact you have to mercy for a chance to get Nominee. I hate these type of banners, so I, I would just personally wait until... Uh, she's all by herself in a regular banner uh, for Nominee. So it's just kind of up to you on whether or not how badly do you actually need a new Speed Upright medal. So I'll leave it to that for today. But other than that, go ahead and let me know what your guys' thoughts and comments are about the new Supernova++ Chain of Memory Sword in the comment section down below. 
If you did, enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button to post when I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Chaos Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.